Jason once again and welcome to my second training video. Today we will talk about an interesting topic called workplace ethics. If you were an employee in an organization working in a small, medium, or huge enterprise, there are certain code of conducts or set of professional behavior that an organization expects from their employees to convey. Ethics are generally set up rules that are important to be followed as an integral part of an organization and society. Every single individual possesses the same ethics and ethical behavior in different ways as the culture from which they are born or brought up are different. What is the purpose of today's session? The purpose of today's session is to illustrate how ethics affect individual as well as the organizations and to clearly define specific techniques to help you make ethical decisions or to respond to ethical conflicts. We will look at the concept of ethics, what it means and why it is relevant to each employees, to your organization and to your work relationships. For example, your colleague wants to go early at work. How you will manage this situation? Is it ethical or unethical? By the end of the session, you will be able to Define ethics in the behavior that drives it. Recognize how organizational values, rules, procedures, and guidelines establish boundaries that help people make decisions. Identify your various ethical responsibilities at work and the benefits to your organization. Now, let us look at very important statement about ethics. Organizations don't make ultimate decisions about ethics. Ethical choices are made by individuals. What do you think this means? Organization can put rules in place that they expect you to follow, but they cannot tell you what to do. We will be discussing more about ethics and how you can make the right ethical decisions in a short while. What do you mean by ethics. Ethics is all about doing what is right, fair, honest, and legal. What does this mean? It means that every time you face a situation, your answer needs to be yes to all of these four statements. If any of this response is no, then this is unethical. The work ethic you have is your personal standard for how you do your job. It's all about detail-oriented you are, what sort of quality you're intent to delivering for every project you do, whether you're functional, how you treat your colleagues, if you take accountability for what you do, and so much more. These are all the things that can be taught, but they also come down to an unemployee's internal moral code. So what drives our will to be ethical all the time? There are three things that drive our ethical behavior, our beliefs, our values, and our practices. So now let us discuss each of these reasons that drives our ethical behavior. First, what is belief? For example, is this a white cup? No, this is a blue cup. Why? Because this is my belief. Belief is something one accepts as true or real. Another example is, do you believe in fortune teller or a premonition of black cats? Belief is firmly held opinion or conviction by a person or a group of people. Belief is all about trust, faith, or confidence in someone or something. Our common sense understanding of belief is correct and sometimes called a mental sentence theory. In this conception, beliefs exist as a coherent entities and the way we talk about them in everyday life is a valid basis for scientific endeavor. Our common sense understanding of belief may not be entirely correct, but it is close enough how to make some useful predictions. This view argues that we will eventually reject the idea of belief how we used to know. But now there are maybe a correlation between what we take to be a belief when someone says, I believe that the snow is white, and how the future theory and psychology 
will explain to this behavior. Since we are driven by our values, then how do you define values? What are they? Values are the things we regard as having ultimate importance, significance, or worth in our life. Values is a set of principles, standards, or beliefs. Considering our conversation on values and beliefs is in obvious that they play a critical role in how we act. When we consider these areas, do value exist in your life? With regards to value system, in any organization, values exist in two levels. It's personal and organizational. If you don't stand for something, you will fail for anything. It means you have to believe in something. Why? Because it means we have our personal values that we need to stick in our everyday life. What do you value most in your life? What I want from you to do is list any personal values you might have, keep these values with you, and will help you to make the right decisions. Now that we have identified our personal values, what do you think are the organizational values would be? The organizational values are the set core values, which is the fundamental beliefs of a person or organization. This guiding principle dictates behavior and can help people understand the difference between right and wrong. Core values also help companies to determine if they are on the right path and fulfilling their goals by creating an unwavering guide. What is the difference of ethical harmony and ethical conflict? Have you ever experienced a situation where you were not sure what to do? How did it feel? Did you stay up all night and unable to sleep? What you were experiencing is ethical conflict. Ethical conflict is when our belief and values are inconsistent with our actions. Now, if all is well and you would be happy with the decision, then that would be ethical harmony. Ethical harmony is when our beliefs and values and actions are aligned. Another example is if you believe in love but you hate your neighbor, then that is ethical conflict. It's really difficult to have a positive attitude from time to time, in which is the same to have an ethical harmony. What is the importance of making good ethical decision? First is strengthen job security and satisfaction. What does it mean by this? You will be happy in your job and don't worry about losing your job or getting a warning letter. Second, maintains career options. Most companies like to work with the colleagues they can trust. Third is build stronger teams. Colleagues enjoy to work in a place where they know they can trust and rely each other. Fourth is build your credibility. Other people trust you in each other. Lastly is reduce stress. If you know that you have done something wrong, you will constantly be stressed about it. Because of experience, we tend to see things less often in terms of black and white. When the line between right and wrong becomes blurry, rely on your experience, rules, procedures, and laws for direction. Always remember that ethical behavior is an individual choice. How important is code of ethics in an organization? The question is, what is code of ethics? Code of ethics is in place to provide consistency in an organization approach to ensure that employees conduct business in an ethical manner. It is very important that we act in an ethical manner in all business activities in order to reflect our core values, especially integrity and our company culture. Now let me show you a few examples of unethical practices. First, using company papers for printing for personal documents. Second, sharing non-approved pictures with friends on social media. Wasting food. Leaving lights on. 
reporting to work late, using the communal bathrooms and leaving them dirty for the next person, smoking in non-designated areas, and lastly, damage of property. What are the financial impact for doing unethical practices? It can be replacing of equipment, replacing of stocks, extra maintenance, and paying fines for any violations. Who do you think will pay for all of this? Definitely, it's you. You have to create trust through your actions. What does it mean by that? It means that in everything that we do, we must ensure that it's done in an ethical manner so that we can maintain a high level of trust within the company. What are the ethical guideline questions? Whenever we confronted with ethical decisions, we can use these questions as a guide to help us make the right decisions. First question that we need to ask ourselves is, is it legal? Does it comply with our company rules and guidelines? Is it in line with our organizational values? Will I be comfortable and guilt-free if I do it? Does it match our stated commitments? Would the most ethical person I know do it? Would I do it to my family or friends? And lastly, is would I feel okay if someone did it to me? These are the right questions we need to ask ourselves to guide us to have the right decisions. In other words, if you are not sure if something is unethical, ask yourself the following questions. So in summary of what we have discussed earlier, always remember that good ethics requires discipline. Ethics is displayed in everything we do. Everything counts. Unethical behavior leads to distrust. Generally, it takes longer to recover from an instance of unethical behavior than the time or advantage gained from the behavior. Small violations start to peck away at people's self-esteem. They set a poor example and create mistrust. Saying nothing about an ethical behavior is not the best solution. Though it appears to be often, poor ethical choices tend to accumulate and spiral into unethical habits and begin to influence everyone and everything around them. So here's food for thoughts. Thomas Huxley says that it is not who is right but what is right that is important. What does this mean? A lot of people do something because everyone is doing it. But the question is, is this the right thing to do? Ethic is not something you do sometimes. It is an all the time thing and you should reflect in your actions. Remember that wrong is wrong even everyone is doing it. Right is right even no one is doing it. I hope that you have acquired an important information that will help you make an ethical decisions in life. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. Have a great day everyone.